A beautiful tribute. Thank you, Sheena. Tonight, the Situate community is remembering a 14 year old boy who died in a dirt bike crash over the weekend. Jared Carpenter was a young athlete with a bright future whose life was cut short and a vigil was held in his memory tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin is live in Situate now with more. Caroline. Well, Shannon, the Situate School Department had grief counselors on hand today at the high school for anyone who just needed someone to talk to. And tonight, the community came together for a candlelight vigil and for an opportunity to honor Jared. At the very spot where tragedy struck, healing began. Monday night, hundreds gathered on a blocked off Madsen Road in Situate to remember 14 year old Jared Carpenter. Situate police say the teen was riding a dirt bike with his twin brother and close friend on Saturday when he lost control and hit a tree. Police say Carpenter was taken to Rhode Island Hospital, where he later died. On Monday evening, a community came out to honor Carpenter, who would have been entering the ninth grade this fall. Situate police and Potterville Fire blocked off Madsen Road as people came in with flowers, candles, and open arms for the Carpenter family. Many telling us they are still in disbelief over this young life taken too soon. They say Jared loved football, lacrosse, basketball. and riding. In honor of him, almost a dozen people rode off together from the vigil Monday night, passing the spot where they say their friend died doing what he loved. And calling hours will be held Wednesday night in Coventry. There is a GoFundMe page set up right now to help offset funeral expenses. And at last check, it has raised more than $17,000 for the Carpenter family. If you'd like to donate, just head to our website, WPRI.com, for more information. Reporting live in situ with tonight, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.